Welcome to this tip presented by the Envision Group. In the V8 releases of MicroStation, a simple key will allow you to open up applications such as Internet Explorer, Notepad, and Windows Explorer. From the key in browser, you can type in percent sign Notepad, and that will open up the Notepad application. You can also open up your Internet browser window. I use Firefox, so I'm going to use percent Firefox, and that'll open up my Internet browser to my home page. And the last one I want to show you is Explorer. So you can type in percent Explorer. And that will open up your Windows Explorer window. Now, adding some application command line switches with some MicroStation variables can really have an added benefit when calling the Windows Explorer application. Bear with me as I type in this key in, as I'll explain what each one of these uh, strokes in the key in line means. The start of it is going to be dollar sign, space, percent, explorer, space, forward slash, E, comma, space, forward slash, select, comma, dollar sign, parent, underscore, D, G, N, F, I, L, E, parent. What this is going to do for me is open up Windows Explorer to a specific folder and file and make sure that it has the focus. So when I hit the run or enter key, it'll actually open up to the folder that my current file is in and actually have it highlighted or selected for me. Here's further explanation on that key in. The dollar sign is used to enter a key in that has a configuration variable in the string. The percent explorer, as I shown before, is the key in to open up the application Windows Explorer. Now the forward slash E is a Windows Explorer command line switch that will tell the application how to display. In this case, a forward slash E is the view display. Forward slash select, again, is another Windows Explorer command line switch that will tell the application to apply focus. And lastly, the dollar sign DGN file. This is a MicroStation configuration variable that will be expanded to help define which folder and which file will have that focus. Now this key in is extremely long and complicated and what you would probably want to do is apply this to a function key or uh, some customized button or pull down. This concludes our tip on using the Explorer key in command line switches. Visit our website, envisioncad.com, for more tips and resources. Thank you.